SH Defense Pitches Modular Cube System for Philippine Navy OPVs. Denmark SSH Defense is pitching its modular cube system to the Philippine Navy in a bid that could boost the service's incoming offshore patrol vessels with missile, mine laying, anti aircraft, and anti submarine capabilities. It ll never be a frigate, but you can get a lot of the capabilities that will give it some extra firepower or self protection. Peter Leesberg, SH Defense S Area Sales Director for the Indo Pacific, highlighted to Naval News on what the, the modular mission system could bring to Philippine Navy and against its adversaries at Asia Defense and Security Exposition 2024. The origins of the cube comes from the operating experiences of the Royal Danish Navy, which has utilized modular mission containers on its patrol vessels and frigates for decades. However, these systems were unstandardized in container size and integration into the vessels, with some installations bolting the mission module onto the deck. In order to address these standardization issues, the cube system deploys 20 or 40 foot ISO containers and a twist and lock system that secures the mission modules. The cube system's containers can also be moved from position to position, leading to a number of configurations and capabilities that can be deployed by the vessel. While SH Defense is responsible for this infrastructure, it is working with other companies, such as Thales, Geospectrum Technologies and Israeli Aerospace Industries, to deliver the sensing and kinetic mission modules. The Philippine Navy are acquiring these six new OPVs built by Hyundai, and according to Hyundai it's a multi-role platform, which it's not. Because if it's a multi-role platform, you would be able to easily swap missions and putting a container on the aft deck is not making it multi-role, said Leesberg. SH Defense has identified three configurations on the top, flight, and quarter decks for the cube system on board the Philippine Navy's incoming HDP-2200 offshore patrol vessels. These configurations could put two mission modules on the top deck, located roughly amidship, three to seven on the flight deck, and seven within the quarter deck. Leesberg stressed that the vessel's aviation operations wouldn't be impacted as the cube system's installation would be flush with the deck. With this system, all of a sudden you can give smaller platforms a lot of extra mission profiles. That could be disaster relief, that could be deterrence, more offensive capabilities. And basically, it's only the imagination that sets the limits, said Leesberg. When asked how the cube system could help the Philippine Navy in countering threats in the West Philippine Sea, a section of the South China Sea that Manila claims under its exclusive economic zone, Leesburg noted the deterrent.